dear finance professionals and students welcome to podcast of fca deepak rao a practicing chartered accountant daily news and updates for second may 2024 The Fed's latest policy statement issued at the end of a two-day meeting kept key elements of its economic assessment and policy guidance intact, noting that inflation has eased over the past year and framing its discussion of interest rates around the conditions under which borrowing costs can be lowered. The Directorate General of Civil Aviation has deregistered all 54 aircrafts of Go First offering relief to aircraft leasing companies. This action comes 364 days after the Wadia owned company filed for bankruptcy. Following a directive from the Delhi High Court, DGCA processed the deregistration applications within 5 working days. Lessors backed by major banks had to navigate a legal battle to reclaim their aircraft which had been restrained during the insolvency process. Maruti Suzuki India expects a revival of the small car segment in the domestic market by 2026 end or 2027 after suffering from affordability issues and onslaught from SUVs. The small car segment which had once dominated the Indian total passenger vehicles market accounts for less than 30% at present. The company is hopeful that the resurgence seen in the two-wheeler market which has also witnessed declines since 2018-19 will have a positive impact on small car sales as well. The recent decision by the Securities and Exchange Board of India to reduce the face value of corporate bonds from rupees 1 lakh to rupees 10000 is expected to make bond investments more appealing and attainable for a broader spectrum of retail investors. In October 2022, the SEBI had reduced the face value of corporate bonds to rupees 1 lakh from rupees 10 lakh. The RBI has released draft master directions on electronic trading platforms or ETPs. ETP refers to any electronic system other than a recognized stock exchange on which transactions in eligible instruments are contracted. As per the draft master directions, an entity seeking authorization as an ETP operator must maintain a minimum net worth of rupees 5 crore and must continue to maintain a minimum net worth as prescribed at all times. The entity must be a company incorporated in India, shareholding by any non-residents if any in the entity seeking authorization as an ETP operator must conform to all applicable laws and regulations including the FEMA 1999. Further, the entity seeking authorization as an ETP operator or its key managerial personnel must have at least 3 years of experience in operating trading infrastructure in financial markets. These directions are effective immediately. This podcast is sponsored by Sound of CA. We share because we care. Vande Mataram, Jai Hind.